Greetings everyone and welcome to Modit. This is the July mod list update. Um, a month ago I did a list where I went through my entire mod list and talked about all the little uh, mods that I've got there and why they're there and what they do. And this is the July or the end of July update where I'm going to tell you about what I've added or removed um, since then. And the idea of this is, is that this will be kind of like a monthly series with just the kind of the update and the changes from now on. So you may want to go back and have a look at the full June one first. And if you look in the, uh, uh, the description I'll, I'll have a link to the um, to that first video there and I'm, I will comment on some of the others but mainly I'm going to be focusing on the things that I have added and changed and um, the categories that I am going to be um, talking to you um, in are the categories that everything appears in the Nexus mod manager so if I just delete that there you can see that they're in animation armor etc 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 um, if the and I'm using the categories that the mod author themselves has decided to put them in so there's a whole bunch in miscellaneous and you might consider well why is that one there why is that one there I'm going with what they have said so here we go I have added in, since the last video, smokable cigars, joints and stuff. I love it for my Mitch character. It's a beautiful, slow-paced animation. You've probably, if you've been watching my role plays um, and some of my other playthroughs, you've probably seen me pause for occasion. It, it's great for a role play player because the character can just get out a cigarette. It's beautifully animated, it glows, it smokes, um, and I can kind of do a bit of kind of exposition for what I'm kind of currently um, thinking and if you want you can put on a save as well but I don't and if you want to um, craft um, cannabis or weed and have all your visuals go crazy then you can do that um, too. Really nice one and that's by uh, Flip Deasy who also made the Sit Anywhere mod that um, I showed last time. Um, here are the current ones which you can see on this list. By the way the, the Fallout 4 mod list um, is, is here and again that list will be here and this has now been fully updated um, as of July, the, as of the 29th of July with everything I'm currently using and I've also, because I love you guys, actually no I don't, uh, well I do, well I love the positive feedback. I just, it's about ego. I like you guys watching me. Um, I've also added in the, um, where there's a modit link. So I made a modit video for smokable cigars. And if you'd like to see that, just click there and that video will come up and you'll be able to see a, a, a beautifully long and drawn out introduction that will then take far too long to explain exactly how this mod works. Um, but we'll hopefully get you quite excited about it, um, in a entertaining way. Let's carry on. Uh, nothing new in the armor sections, nothing kind of taken out. I haven't used all of these yet, but I will get to them in the various role plays. Um, this is new. I haven't done a modit video on this, but I think I will at some point if I can think of a way to do it. Uh, Fallout Suite soundtrack extension from Fallout 4 by Fallout Suite. Uh, basically adds, not replaces, adds lots of extra music to Fallout uh, 4. And it's, it's orchestrally, um, similar to what is there already so rather than there are some um, music mods which change it to like heavy metal rock music or dance music or um you know import things from the witcher and things like that whereas this one um just adds more of the same and it's really nice i really like it i started playing with it a couple of days ago and i'm really enjoying it um so i would check, recommend you have a look at that one um no more cash register sound i did a modit video on this one basically it takes away that ka -ching whenever you um Get whether you kill someone, um, which doesn't annoy you until you start to think about it, and then you can't not think about it. Uh, these are the audio ones which are already there. No changes in audio voice. Um, everything has been updated. So I'll have I, if something has been updated, I haven't put it into the new category, but I, I most of my mods are completely up to date. And stuff like the unofficial Fallout patch, which you can see here in bug fixes, is a, is a must must. Um, keep up to date um but i think lots of others uh, if i if i think of them as i go through if, if i think of any other ones that have had majorly important updates i will try and mention it but um basically just the, the way to keep your stuff updated um is to track them um so if i if i think of a mod that um i use a lot so something like uh photorealistic commonwealth i uh, is obviously very important to mine because it affects everything if you go to the nexus mod manager and there's a bum um I just failed to search for that. If you go to the, 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 the page itself, when you get there, you can press, press the endorse button, which is also really important, but you also this track button here. And when you press the track button, you can then go to files, tracking center, 
and it shows you all of the mods that you've tracked, um, which for me is a, is a huge amount. But what it does is it shows you the last time that mod has been uploaded, not just the description updated or anything like that, it's the last time there has been an actual upload. Um, and you can then kind of compare that. You can kind of click through these ones and see what's been updated recently. Um, if you are a, uh, if you are, a, I'm for the word, like a premium user of the Nexus mod, the Nexus, uh, which I am, because I think it's such a good website. I want to support it, put my money where my, my where my uh, mods are and all that kind of stuff. It also gives you a comparison of where you've last downloaded it as well. So, for example, this one was updated on the 28th of July. This one I last downloaded on the 17th of July, so I know that this one is up to, is is out of date. So I should probably have a look at that one. Whereas this one was down was uploaded updated on the 28th, and I downloaded it on the 28th, so that one's probably fine. And if this one is higher than this one, then you know that you're definitely out of date. Um, but if sometimes the upload is, um, it, it might it might not necessarily be the main file that's updated. It might be an optional thing or something else they've kind of added in. So have a, but it gives you it gives you a flag to go and check it out. Um, what else have we got? Uh, True Reporter. Um, that was actually on the list before in my unused ones, but my character has now reached the stage of uh, meeting Piper, and I, I really like this. It really makes her look a lot more kind of press. Um, uh, like a, like a kind of journalist, like it emphasises the journalist of her character. And I've added, I've taken off the the beret, and I've added this. It was a bit tricky because I had to install the mod, and then I had to um, uh, spawn the clothing, and then I had to um, access her inventory and change her clothes manually, kind of before I met her, which was a little bit awkward. It doesn't, it doesn't actually just change her clothes. You actually have to add the clothing and then change what she's wearing, which was a pain, but. It's not too hard, just Google it, and if anyone wants to know how you do it, let me know, and I'll maybe make a tutorial on it. Um, <laughs> um, what have we got? These are all there before. These are all there before. Nothing new in Companions, but keep your unlimited Companion framework um, up to date. Some of you have asked me where I get my faces from. That that question comes up a lot, like why, why all my characters look slightly different, and a lot of it is down to uh, this mod here, which is uh, full, full which is um, Fallout Faceworks Reborn. It just changes all of them a little bit. I like them. I like that one a lot. Um, right, here we go. Crafting home section. So I'm obviously doing a lot of settlements recently, and I've done a lot of build-it videos, and I am obviously lazy, and I like I really, really like the mods that enable you to design things quickly. And if you've watched lots of my build-its, you will know this. Um, so uh, in order, here are all the new ones. Uh, craftable Far Harbor tents went in yesterday. It just basically allows you to put those tents on top of sleeping bags, and gives you a nice place to they're nice decorating and they are um uh useful uh, practical as well this one's really important it's an old it's a slightly older one now actually um but it's by eleanor who does who's very famous for her um uh player houses and uh, this is her decorating mod and it's 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 one it's another one of these kind of like cluster mods and there's there's loads of things she's put together here like shell uh put shelves that are already kind of put together and things and um Fridges, I think, is in there as well, and um, mannequins before mannequins were actually um, in the game. So it's a really useful one, that one. But um, I'm not sure it's quite as essential as it used to be because there's now so many other mods that do similar things, and mannequins are now in the game. Oh, but it does come with lots of pot plants, which is a really handy um, decoration. Um, Dino's decorations, I did the modit video on this one the other day. Um, and like I said, I've added in all the modit links here. So if you want to go and see the video, do feel free, uh, which adds little clusters that you can put on top of other objects. So these are, so that's like a cluster of pens. This is a, um, a, 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 a an in, in progress chess match. And all of this is the same object and you put it down on a table. Um, or, a, or even the floor if you want. Uh, Dino's decoration is really good. Uh, filled weapon displays, I did a mod on that one. It basically gives you a weapon. What irritates me about the weapons displays that they added to the game is it, I, think it's, I think it's just one weapon per display, whereas this one puts a whole stack in there together. You can't choose which ones. It's already gone done. But um, again, this is for the, for the lazies. Uh, functional displays is a similar idea, actually, putting guns and stuff on the wall. But I, um, And in theory, the kind of the, 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 the new DLC put it out of date. However, it does lots of other things as well. It gives us new collectible models. Um, it gives me a drinks cabinet that I can display things into, fridges that I can display things into, um, drinks crates. Like, like, so basically you put the crate down and then you access the drinks crate and you can put drinks into the crate and then they appear um, in the crate. So there's, And there's these display cases as well, which are really, really nice. And again, yes, I know it, it kind of overlaps with the DLC, but it's good enough, I think, to be worth having a look at and seeing if you prefer it. Um, this one I'm definitely going to make a mod video on very, very soon. Uh, it adds these like floating bridges to water surfaces, 
and um, allows you to put the, uh, and the boat is another little bridge as well. And there's these lovely little tires, um, which I don't know if I can see a clip of at any point. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, boat tires, you can put them on the edge to kind of give a justification while they're floating. And all, all of the bridges are on top of these nice little barrels. And these fish farm nets here are a farmable resource. So you assign a settler to them and um, they stand there with a bucket and it gives you an extra 10 food for your um, settlement, which I think is really nice. Um, I finally caved in and got manufacturing extended, Ooh. which I seem to have cocked up the link on. I'll fix that one. Uh, manufacturing extended is basically an essential mod if you want um, uh, to be using the the factories and things because it, it um, adds lots of actually useful factories, in, especially including the um, this one here. The uh, I can't remember what it's called the body destroyer. You put you put you put people you've killed into it and it shreds them and gives you lots of useful resources as a result of it, which is brilliant. Um, this one I installed a couple of days ago, had to go through with it. Um, unique, Miss Ray's Unique Containers. Um, so her, this mod specializes in giving you places to store your stuff, you know, your ammo, your food, etc. But it decorates them. It decorates them. So rather than just putting like an empty cupboard and then you store things in it, you put this um, completely filled fridge and then you store things in it. Or this is like a place to store clothing, which is actually kind of a quite a pretty ironing board and things like that. Um, and a knick-knack shelf, you know. It, it's just a, a kind of a... Uh, they're pretty. You don't, you don't even have to use them as containers. They are pretty additions for your settlement, and you can use them to store stuff as well, which is really nice. I did this one yesterday, thematic and practical. I still don't like the name, but I asked the mod author, and he said, I'm not changing it. So, uh, and he, he shouldn't have to. It's his mod. He can do whatever he wants with it, or she. Um, but I think this mod is absolutely awesome. I think it, it contains huge amounts of junk furniture, and there's a junk-made doghouse. So, so it has all the things you would expect. Tables, chairs, um, beds, etc., etc. But they're all made out of junk and rubbish, um, rather than you've necessarily kind of just found one. So, have, so that like coffee table there is made up of sacks, breeze blocks, and a random bit of wood, rather than actually being a coffee table. And it just gives such a lovely look. Um, I'll show you one of his images there. Uh, you know, all of this is made of, you know, cast-offs, rather than you found a bed or you found this or you found that. Really like it. Really good. Um, Check out my mod video for more. Um, I'm probably not going to make a mod video on this one, but it's really handy. It's an upwards conveyor belt, you know. So it, at the moment in the factories, I think the um, the lift things or the the like the tube things they take things up and the conveyors take things down. This one it adds a conveyor belt that takes things up as well. There's a few of these mods. There's one that adds like a curved conveyor, and there's one that adds um, conveyor that like join. There's a conveyor that. Um, joins together, but I think there's now one that splits as well. Just, just Google, like, conveyor, and you'll see all various different options, and I thought that was quite a handy one. Um, warehouse shelves. I I think I'm going to make a mod, a mod on this eventually. I just kind of lost... Um, losing time. Uh, this basically does the same thing as do-it-yourself. In fact, Cartman, who was the man behind it, um, um, had worked on do-it-yourself, or made an optional add-on, but this is for just for the... The factories themselves. So again, it's that old thing. You put down a big shelf, except of course it isn't a factory. It's a huge shelf, and then it gets kind of like you've got big kind of components that go on there, like these barrels and um, piles of plastic and things. And it's re really good quality, quick decorations. Um, just what with all of these, watch your settlement budget um, because they they do a lot. Um, but that's why this mod here, which I've which isn't a new one, but um, increased build limit um, by DD Productions um, is really really good because you can take that bar and turn it into that bar. But it does depend on the power of your PC and things like that, I would assume. Um, nothing new in creatures. Oh, yes, yeah, so Ian B, I'm still very happily using Photorealistic Commonwealth. Um, it's updated to 0.7.7 as of today. Um, and I'm going to make another video on it. I'm going to do a second mod it on something. I know, why? Um, because the updates on it have been absolutely brilliant. Um, including um, the ability to tweak in-game. Um, so you can craft these little objects that basically make everything a little bit brighter or a little bit warmer or increase the contrast. And so it gives you complete customizability. Well, complete customizability is too far. It allows you to enjoy the look of photorealistic Commonwealth, which I'm, I'm sure you agree is gorgeous, um, and then tweak it a little bit for whichever, um, for your current character or your, or for your personal preferences. And um, it's really, really good. He's also continued to work on his weather. And because he's worked on his weather, um, it's now you don't need to now have true storms at the same time. He's installed his own storms and also and snow, um, which looks brilliant as well. And I'll, I'll show this in a future modit video. Um, there's also um, 
NAC winter summer nuclear here. There's also um, a version here, optional version, where you can say, I want to only have the winter weathers at the moment, or just the summer weathers, or just the kind of the dark and scary um, weathers. And I thought that was brilliant because I um, I used the seasons mod, which had winter in it. So I used the winter. Um, here they are in, in the optional files here. Um, so I used the winter um, mod, which gave me loads of snow, combined with the winter weathers from um, Photorealistic Commonwealth A NAC, and it worked really, really nicely together. And there's actually now two versions of this. There's the photorealistic version, and it's, it's all by looping, um, the photorealistic version, which has the ENB and all the weathers, but you can actually now just use the weathers completely by themselves, which is called NAC, NAC, Natural Atmospheric Commonwealth, I think is what it, means, it translates as. Um, and that is a separate, but it, it, it's got its own page, but you can download them separately or together. But um, just Google around and you'll, you'll see that. Um, environment uh, conifers, uh, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, I've, I've just added it to my current playthrough and I, I'm, you can, you have to do an any tweak if you want the woods to be this thick. Um, I don't want it to be this thick, so I'm, um, I haven't done that. I like, I like it a little bit more sparse, but I may kind of thicken it as uh, my character approaches the summer, which I know doesn't make any sense because trees don't kind of pop up, but you know what I mean. And um, this is by Tuki, and it, I, I would recommend if you're going to use these, that you use it in con conjunction with um, Tuki's something. I can't remember what it's called, but then there's a, it's, it, in my view, it's the, the best flower mod on the, um, Nexus. Uh, here we go. Tuki's textures, retextures, grasses, grasses and plants. They're really, 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 really good. And uh, they go really nicely together. Um, and these two together give you a far greener one without necessarily being all kind of like, oh, it's so pretty and lovely. It's more kind of like, you know, just a bit more overgrown. To go with that, of course, uh, Resurrection mod. Um, bit of a sad story here. Resurrection was a stunning mod. I'll just show you my video here if I go ahead a little bit. Uh, there's me getting very excited. Uh, Resurrection mod is a absolutely stunning uh, recreation of the Fallout world um, with um, moss and grass and stuff. But unfortunately, the author has been using other people's assets without permission, and so the whole thing was removed from the Nexus, uh, and deservedly so. Um, but it's a shame, because as you can see, it's gorgeous. I was so excited about it. I used it for my... Uh, if I could plug myself, I used it for my... Herbert playthrough. He was this kind of posh guy that was like, oh, hello, what are we going to do over here? He was a bobblehead collector. I'm searching for bobbles. And I wanted this kind of, I just felt with this mod, it feels so much like a kind of a, an adventure. But I'll stop talking about it because obviously it's sad that it's not there anymore. I believe it is still there on um, Bethesda.net. And I believe you can kind of Google around for it. But I don't know if it's the most current up-to-date version. And I don't even know what's happened to the mod author himself, whether he's just gone and disappeared. But a um, bit of a sad ending there, really. Um, what else is new here? So true, yeah, True Storms came out, not because it's not good, it is great, but Photorealistic Commonwealth and NAC don't need it anymore. Um, in fact, you can see Resurrection there kind of in both sections. So that, that link to Resurrection doesn't work anymore if you click on it. Um, nothing changed with me, We Are The Minutemen, still a brilliant mod, um, but you may want my fix. Um, right, in gameplay effects, quite a few changes here. Most of these have modded videos if you want to learn more about them. Live dismemberment allows you to shoot off people's limbs and have them kind of still alive, and you can choose whether that's a very rare occurrence, whether you want it a lot. Uh, longer power lines, um, vital thing part of um, crafting, I think. Um, and the mod author was nice enough to feature my video here, and um, um, and the same on Bethesda and I there. And you can choose um, whether you want to have infinite power lines or just two times or three times or four times and things like that. I think I went for three times for a kind of combination between the two. Uh, people are strangers. I've covered this, and it feels like a long time ago I did this one, but it must have—I must have forgotten to put it to my list. But it means when you walk up someone the first time, it just says "stranger" and say their name, and then as soon as you speak to them, well, they speak to you, it then says John, Bill, or Fred. And uh, but it, it just means before you know a person, you don't kind of go, "Hey, Paul, good to see you." Um, little touch, but very, very nice. And again, there's my video. Um, Quick Trade by Registrator. Registrator is the guy behind Fallout Hotkeys, I think, unless I'm confusing my mod authors. Um, and this is a really, really nice little tweak. It just means when you walk up to traders and and people, and your settlers, actually, you can talk to them or you can just go straight to the inventory. And um, I will make a mod video on this one because I think it's really important because the first time you, you talk to a trader, it's really the immersion of, like, who are you? What do you sell? is really, really good. But actually, most of the time after that, you don't want to go through that little bit of dialogue. You just want to trade. And so it's really handy. And it also works for companions, um, as well. Um, it's not, doesn't seem to be fully compatible with unlimited companion framework. They don't glitch out or anything, but you just, you don't get this option on all of them. And, and um, I will be 
when I make the videos or when I speak to the authors, I will mention that. But um, really, really good. It just speeds things up and um, it's very handy. Um, survival Sleep Anywhere. Um, the guy here has actually stopped kind of supporting it really, but it, I, I still got it. It's handy. It just means you can... Um, you know when you sleep on a bed, you can sleep as long as you want, more or less. When you sleep on... This is survival mode. When you sleep on a sleeping bag, you can only get three hours. When you sleep on a dirty mattress, you can only get five. It just takes that away. Because I've had times when I've kind of like come in like, I'm so tired. And then I've slept on a sleeping bag and it's only given me three hours. And I'm like, no, really? I would sleep for days. Um, so I took that off. Um, and then all the mod, all the current ones are here. Lots of modded videos for you to enjoy. I probably I, I, I will eventually change all of these so that the link is where the name is. I, I did it that way around the first time around. I don't know why, but I think this looks it's neater. Um, some of you uh, last time um, gave me some lovely feedback in this video, and you said you'd like some kind of quick descriptions next to it. Um, if I get time, I will. But um, I, I've linked in the, one of the, one of the requests was to add the modded links, which I've done, and um, I may add more description later. But um, Lots of you looking at this list, this list, which is really nice. Thank you. Um, so also on the gameplay effects, I've taken out Infinite Start for now. I, I do. I, I am going to carry on with my permadeath ones, but Glacknoff, who is the guy behind it, seems to have. I'm not quite sure what's going. On. He seems to have either lost his stuff or he's asking if anyone else wants to take up the project. Um, I'm not sure what's going. In fact, you know, ver there's, the version number there is a uh, is unusual. Uh, but I think something's gone wrong with that mod. Um, so it may be better to use another life at the moment um, in terms of alternate starts. Um, this is really nice. Um, this is a new one in um, items. We're getting, we're getting to the texture replacements now. This is Elphas, and I, I need to get the latest version of this one. And I knew that I needed to get the latest version because it came up in my tracking center. Mm, look at that. Probably on the next page somewhere. Uh, yes. Elphas is there. We'll be there. Will be some some I wouldn't seriously. I'm trying to make a point here, people. I'm trying to make a point. Well, anyway, that point didn't go well. Um, so this is chems and it's it's really 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 pretty and nice and I like it a lot. Um, so this is a retexture. So I've distracted myself by doing a really bad example. Nothing new in miscellaneous. Um, unlimited survival activations is really handy. It just means that when I'm making my videos, I can turn survival on mode off and survival mode off because a couple of you requested to, when I'm building things, to not see all the survival stuff going on at the same time. And now I just kind of flick it off and then flick it on again. Place anywhere, if you're lucky enough to be a PC player, and hello, um, then place anywhere is obviously an essential because it means you can put things down a lot more easily. Uh, right, models and retextures, quite a bunch of new ones here. Most of these were recommended by Dino, I think. Dino had a lovely list at the bottom of Dino's decorations, and I was not, I kind of thought, ooh, I'll nick all of them. Uh, these were, so these are ammo, and I took, there were three options. There was um, perfect, weathered, and uh, buggered. And um, I think the buggered one looks amazing, but it was too wrecked for me. Yeah, here we go. So this is pristine am ammo retextures. This was weathered. You can see it kind of starts getting a bit more kind of dusty down here. Um, and then they're utterly buggered. Like it's crusted off. You can barely read some of them. This is kind of like crap brown. Um, I think this one, to be honest, looks the best. But I went for the weathered ones because I, I still want to be able to kind of tell what they are and see them from a distance and things. So um, that was my... Uh, con um, that was my... Compromise there. Um, ammo can retexture. I think it's really, really nice. You can choose whether you want to. There's a Vault Tech version in here as well, um, which doesn't quite fit the law, but if you like it, you can go for it. Um, bottles labeled. This one had lots of customizable options. This one changes your drinks, basically. And again, you can choose whether you want the uh, a clean one, a dirty one, or a completely um, almost unreadable one because it's so dirty, which is it's lovely to have that kind of customization here. And then you've got different types of water and all sorts. Um, really nice one, that one. Um, obviously, you most of these mods have choices about whether you want to go for the 4K, 2K, 1K versions, or even less. Um, and what that means is that it changes how many. Um, some of you will know what this, this this stuff is already, but basically, like when you see the texture of an item, the the picture that's going on that texture in the default game is that big. And what that means is when you get very very close to that texture, it starts to look very 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 kind of pixely. Um, so if you change that texture picture to say, instead of being 1K to being 2K, the, pit, the texture itself is double the size, which means you can get a lot closer to it before it starts to look pixely and it looks a lot more detailed. And um, there's even ones that are kind of 4K. However, it puts a lot more pressure on your graphics card because you're loading in these huge images um, each time. Um, so I've, I very rarely go above 1K. 
Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't play in ultra high resolution. I don't have a monitor that does 4K, but if you do and you've got the power, you might want to do that. But um, you, can, you can see clearly the differences between the unmodded version and the modded version. And, and then it kind of just depends how close, how much you like walking up to textures and how much it spoils things for you when you um, can tell it's a texture rather than a real object. Does that kind of make sense? But this is Flacon's, uh, Flacon has lots, this is, this mod does lots of um, objects like Nuka-Cola machines and things like this. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I've taken out Nuka-Cola overhaul because this one was really, really good. Um, immersive mouse and teeth, mouse and teeth, mouse and teeth. Um, it gives you better teeth. Um, I kind of, inst I must admit I installed that one because everyone else had it. <laughs> I haven't spent a lot of time looking into people's mouths. Um, uh, better wood texture here as I've added on. I think I added that one before and then took it out. Uh, this was a, one I added from plotline purposes. Uh, it adds Minuteman paints for all power armors. Because as at the beginning, I think you can only have Minuteman paint on the earliest one. And then I think it's Railroad on the middle one. And then Institute on the advanced one. Which it seems a bit of a bizarre re uh, restriction. Because if you're painting things, you, you can paint anything. And this comes in two versions. Grey or blue. And I went for the kind of Minuteman blue. And I had, a, I had an extra version of the T6. 60, I think it was. And so I wanted to be able to paint that one as a minute man. And so I did. Thanks, thanks to MMP4 Pulp EPA mod. Um don't think these are all the ones that are here before. So there's lots of good textures in here. NPCs, nothing's changed. Uh player homes. I covered this one the other day, Sanctuary Playhouse, which I is gonna be a part of my sanctuary now for Mitch, which I really, really like. And uh law friendly posters I added. Um 2000 endorsements. It basically adds it adds loads of the pictures and posters you see around the game. So um, magazine comp, magazine covers and um, all sorts and allows you to place them as posters into your settlements. And there's over a hundred, I think, um, but they, they look really, really, really good. And you find them in law, in the law friendly posters category. And um, obviously you don't necessarily have a wall like this, but you can use, you know, put, just putting these things up on different walls just makes a huge difference to um, how those things look. Right, down to the unassigned, nothing new in quests, uh, down to the unassigned section. Uh, portable junk recycler, a few of you asked me about this one. This is a brilliant idea and it works really, kind of works really well. Basically it's a little device that you can craft or be given depending on how you wanna set it into your game. And then it allows you to take junk items and turn them into their components straight away, which massively reduces the amount of weight that you're carrying. And I got my character in the game to use it. The problem is it crashes. Um, uh, sometimes. So I would suggest before you use it, you always save in case it crashes the whole game. But when it does work, it's brilliant. It makes a lovely little worry. You basically click on it in your pit boy, it loads up and you basically say, I want to junk this, 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 and it goes, Wee! and it reduces the amount of weight you've got. So it doesn't do weapons and um, ammo and stuff like that. I don't think it just does the junk. In fact, there's a few mods, quite a few mods now that don't do the we weapons and stuff, which I think is a shame. Um, Power armor animation changes. I, mean, I did a mod on this one. It basically just allows you to jump in and out of the power armor a lot faster. Um, power armor map fix. I'm, I'm having problems. One of the problems with photorealistic Commonwealth, and there may be a fix for this. I haven't actually looked in the readmes yet. Is that my screen is when I'm in, just when I'm in power armor, the screen glares like crazy, um, and this basically uh, puts a kind of darker filter over the map to stop it um, glaring at me. I like that a lot. This one's a handy one. It goes really nicely with. Um, I use um, Immersive HUD, which I'll come down to in a minute, and I also use Def UI, and they work pretty well together, except for the crosshair. The crosshair doesn't disappear. Um, I may have just set it up wrong, but instead I just uh, downloaded Auto Hide Crosshair, which basically means whenever I put the, the gun away, um, the HUD, the, the crosshair disappears as well as um, everything else. I think it's all over here. These haven't changed. Uh, someone asked me the other day how I managed to build in the Institute, and I used the Conquest mod to do that. Uh, some people asked me uh, the other day how I got items already onto the store before I I just built a store that had loads of items on there, um, and that's immersive vendors, and they look really, really, really good. Um, here's immersive HUD. So immersive HUD is actually an extension of what I just mentioned with the crosshair. You choose when you want to see your HUD and when you want the whole thing to disappear. And I made a I, I made a mod on it. It's by Gopher, who is one of the best mod tutorial makers. Uh, in, in in Bethesda history, really. He, he also makes role plays, and um, I don't know if he knows that I exist, um, but we, we, we kind of make quite similar stuff, really. He, he does kind of like mod showcases where he does like tons of mods in a row. He also makes his own mods, and he, he does lots of tutorials like how you install this mod and how you install that mod, um, whereas I kind of do more like 
entertaining showcases and but we both do role plays. Um, um, I took I've replaced I can't remember if I did this last time or this time I've replaced better better item sorting with Baldasil's item sorting because it seemed to be um, compatible with more other interface mods. Um, and to be honest, like I haven't really noticed the difference between them. Uh, a few other textures here in visuals and graphics. Why some are in textures and why some are in visual graphics, I don't know. But this changes the books to be a lot more interesting to kind of look at. Um, I, I, I wish that the, the it's very green, yellow, and blue. I wish there were more kind of oranges and reds and um, you know a wider kind of color scheme here. But they do look very, very nice. Um, although one of the things you've got to watch with any of those kind of things is that um, there was a mod the other day that sort of was trying to put it was trying to make the writing on paper visible. Um, because you know you see the paper on the floor and you can't read it, and there's paper all over the place. And this mod made it so you could read it, which is wonderfully immersive, until you realise that actually all the bits of paper on the floor are the same same five bits of paper on over and over again. So I think it's sometimes tricky to get that balance between immersion and repetitiveness. Um, I really like this one. I'm, I probably will make a modit video on it at some point. Um, it takes the power armor HUD and makes it solid. Um because I, my character now, in my roleplay, which I'm currently doing, is now basically a power armor user. And I didn't like the way that I could just jump into the power armor or not be in the power armor. And it didn't really make any difference. It didn't feel very different, even though I'm wearing this massive machine. Um, and I wanted to feel that I was in the power armor. So I installed the sound effects mod from... Kind of power armor sound effects. It's brilliant. And... Um, I also installed this one. So now when I'm not in the power armor, I feel a lot kind of freer and there's no not kind of clanky and clankiness. And when I do it, and when I'm in the power armor, I lose visibility down the bottom and I have this kind of like <laughs> as I'm kind of going. And there's a weathered version. And um, you see how there's different. So the some of them are kind of quite battered and some of them aren't. And um, I really liked that effect, which was good. It's gonna bother me now about the sound effects, power armor sound effect. Can I find that one? Uh yeah, here we go. Pam's power armor movement. Oh, I assume that's Power armor movement sounds, which and there's a few versions there like Hodra, Hodra, Hodrolix and things like that. And um, yeah, Darker Knights has come out because I'm now using Photorealist Commonwealth. Dynavision has come out because I'm using the EMB version. Um, if I've now got, thanks to you lovely people watching on YouTube and not blocking the adverts and things like that, I was able to buy myself a lot of better equipment um, about a month ago. Um, and because of that, I'm now running Photorealistic Commonwealth on high. Um, if I wasn't and I was on a PC... Like my old, if I was on my old PC, I would use Dynavision, Dynavision ENB. I would use the light version of the Photorealistic Commonwealth, and um, any texture mods I had at all, I would be using like the 5K or the 1K versions, and never ever going up to kind of the 2K. Um, and I'd be, I would be very careful with any kind of lighting and shadow mods I used as well. Um, new weapons, uh, I really like this one. Uh, it doesn't hasn't hasn't had much attention at all on the com on the on the. Um, on the uh, Nexus, I think it's a real shame. Uh, Frisbee Mines, I've made a video about it. It basically means you can throw mines, but for me, it makes it a lot more useful. Check out the mod video if you'd like to see more. Uh, Mauser Family, uh, I was feeling rather playful when I did this one, so I used um, <laughs> I used um, a little gizmo on Steam to turn myself into a, into a, Mr. Huntigan, who's showing you how you use these guns? And they're these beautiful, um, uh, kind of slightly older fashioned rifles, which I think suited the, uh, hey, what, where are we? I think kind of Herbert from the old, from the old, um, from Fallout 3 kind of weapons. I thought they were great. Um, and then at the bottom, I've put my current, I've called, and I still think this is true, truly terrible working load order. Basically, I, when I first installed loader mods, I sorted the mod, the mod order, load order to be something that made sense, but I've added so many mods that now I, to be honest, just always add them at the end, and if it doesn't work, I tweak it. Or, or if there's any mods that say, put me here, or put me before this, or before that, then obviously I'll fix that, but otherwise I just kind of chuck things in, and I'm kind of waiting for loot and things to be able to do that a lot for me. So there you go, there is the July update. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of talk through. If you found it useful, please do hit the uh, like button. Uh, the link to the mod list itself is obviously in the description. Go and have a good peer through yourself and do watch any other modded videos. And well, I would appreciate it if you watch the other modded videos and like them and things like that. And um, go over and remember to, remember to kind of endorse the mods when you kind of go over, because obviously the people that work on those mods put a huge amount of work into it. Oh dear, I haven't I haven't endorsed the unofficial mod patch. How, how naughty of me. Um, but um, so do that. If you if you go back to one and see that you haven't endorsed it, then make sure that you do. Um, 
So that's it. That's it for July. I will do a similar video towards the end of August or beginning of September and tell you what I'm using then. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.